Family historian, I'm going to want to start a new database again, or, or a new project, and I'm going to import and it allows me to import a GEDCOM as part of starting a new project. Uh, where is that GEDCOM file? Hopefully I can find that a little bit uh, faster. Actually, it, it knows where it is because I test drove this yesterday. And there's an option here, copy any linked multimedia files into the new project folder. Now, if I had downloaded multimedia files, I would, I would have given this a spin. I'm going to unlink that now just because it's not relevant and say next. Uh, new project name, do I want to make it the default? No, not really, but who cares. And finish. Okay. Uh, it read the file quickly and it says the imported data contains 361 links to external data files. Now the other one said there were 400 and something. It says 361 of those are broken. I know I didn't download the media files. Blah, blah, blah. Would I like Family Historian to search now for the missing files and repair broken links where possible? No, I don't care about that. And here is my family tree. Now, it has not given me the option to make sure it's not on another screen to view a log of what was and what was not successful. And some of the programs don't do that, which is a shame. And some of the, ah, here we go. This one hid it under log files under the Windows directory, and there were no log files. So as far as Family Historian is concerned, it imported everything. Let's do a quick check of that. For this, records lists, individuals, uh, and does it give me a count of individuals here? Yeah, here we go. Down here in the lower left-hand corner. Can you see that or is my head in the way? Let me move that over just a little bit. You see here, it recognized 3,173 uh, 3, uh, individuals and 886 families. It seems to have done a, a pretty good job. Sources, uh, again, I'm not getting a source count here. Repositories. Four, I happen to know, is the right number of repositories. Media, it, um, it did bring in the links uh, without asking me if I wanted to. It just can't link them to the real files because I did not download those files.